guys sorry I feel like I haven't really talked to you much at all today and I'm sorry it just ended up being like a really good productive client work day and I'm happy I got a ton of stuff done so yeah it's nice it's 11 30 and I'm done my client work for the night so I thought because it's a Friday night and I'm feeling kind of chill I thought I would do like a self-care night so I kind of want to go and do a face mask I also desperately need to like repaint my nails they're looking pretty rough so yeah I thought I would have like a self-care night and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you guys kind of like what I'm doing and then I've also just been dying to like pretty up my iPad because I haven't changed the wallpaper I haven't moved like apps or widgets around like I haven't personalized it at all it is literally how I got it out of the box plus any apps I've installed so that's it. So I thought that yeah while we're like painting nails and stuff that we could make my iPad more aesthetic and I thought I'd show you guys like what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So yeah let's I'm gonna go like change into comfier clothes and then um, put on a face mask and we'll go from there. All right we are supporting Minnie Mouse tonight. So I am using, I used it the day so I had it like in a Ziploc bag so it would stay good but I'm using like just like an avocado mud mask. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like I'm having, yeah, it doesn't really show on the camera, but I'm having um, like skin breakouts and I spoke to my doctor and he figures it's rosacea. And this is the only mask I'm finding that's not like irritating it. So whatever works, works right now. So I'm going to use that and it's like a clay mask. It's not a peel off like sheet mask. I'm not a fan of those personally. So. Whenever I'm doing a mask, I like to put my hair up with a, a hair tie. Yeah, purple headband, mini mouse shirt, pajama pants. We're 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 rocking it tonight. All right, so I'm hoping. Oh no. Okay, awesome. It stayed. I wasn't sure because like I did this face mask probably like two weeks ago and I wasn't sure if this would have hardened, but putting it into that bag totally helped. So yes, I'm just going to get kind of all of it as close to the edge as I can before I get my fingers all dirty. So the mask is on and yeah like I said this one is a clay one so I usually leave it on for like 20 to 30 minutes we'll see like how my skin is feeling with it just because I said that like the rash and stuff does bug me sometimes but yeah we'll see how I do so in the meantime I'm gonna like take all my nail polish remover stuff downstairs and just basically get set up in the basement and I will remove my nail polish while I'm waiting for this to dry
Okay, so I'm like just in the process of painting my nails. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna finish tonight just because of the fact that like, I find every time I do my nails before bed, I get like a sheet imprint. Like it doesn't seem to matter how dry I get my nails. I always wake up with like texture. So I just did like one layer on this hand. I might just do one layer on this hand and then do the second layer and the top coat tomorrow morning. But I thought I would get started on like doing my iPad aesthetic. So what I ended up doing, cause I, like, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Like I had a couple like wallpapers saved and a couple different things, but then I found a shop on Etsy with some really cute, um, like Christmas. It's like an iPad. I basically just went on to Etsy search iPad aesthetic. And then I found this shop and, um, yeah, I found this really, really cute Christmas theme with like, um, the different icons and stuff you need. And then it comes with like backgrounds and stuff as well. And I love it comes with like little like widget icons and quotes and things. And so I thought this would be really cute. So I purchased this. So we're going to download it. Okay, it looks like there's four files to download. So I'm just going to take a minute to download those. So yeah, because I really wanted like a really cute Christmas theme. And then I'll probably redecorate this for the new year. Um, because I kind of want to do something in the new year that's like super um like self-love affirmations that kind of thing so then i'll probably do like a goal or like a vision board type theme but for now this will look really really good for the month of december so i'll just go ahead and let those download and then we will start applying everything and making my ipad look so cute okay so i've downloaded everything from that aesthetic uh, thing that I got so we have some like different wallpapers and stuff with different quotes that you can use on widgets and then we also have like wallpapers that you can use as backgrounds and then you also get a whole bunch of different icons so there's icons in two sorry three different colors but yeah it's got like the checkered background with the little icon and then there's also just like a solid green and then there's also a creamy beigey color as well so those are like the main icons and then there's also these like extra ones as well where it's um the green is within the cream and then there's also red and then the red with that same checkered background and then there is also the extra icons so here we have like ones that you can use for like custom apps. So like for example, in the main one, there isn't one for Procreate. So then I could use one of these extra icons for that. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a background. And because I use my iPad in like vertical orientation and horizontal, I kind of want one that is gonna look good both ways. So I really like this one cause it's like a very like blurry, snowy type um image so i really like that Okay, so yeah, now that I've got my home screen changed, I want to work on changing the widgets. And so to do that, I have downloaded the app, uh, what's it called, Widget Smith, yes. And here you can add in like different small widgets, like just the different sizes with like custom clocks and things like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start and start customizing that. So once I had created the widgets in Widget Smith, it was a matter of just like adding them all to the home screen. And this process took quite a while just because I ended up like moving things, changing things. But yeah, essentially I just kind of moved things until I found a setup that I liked. And because I have two pages of apps, I ended up doing widgets on both screens. Next, I wanted to modify the widgets that pop up when you swipe the screen as far left as it'll go. 
and there's like basically a whole column of widgets so here I just wanted to add in some photos and a couple of the main apps I use I like to have the weather here and then also a calendar Once I was done with the widgets, then I started doing the apps and I started by changing the icons first, which you do through the shortcuts app that comes with your iPad. So you just set up the shortcuts to open in a new app and then you can change the image. You can see how I did that here. So I did that for a couple apps, but then I started to realize that I didn't love the current layout or setup I have of the apps, I started moving things around and even deleting some apps from the home screen that I don't use that often. Before I quit for the night, I also decided to add in any other apps that I don't have, like all of the reading apps and all the apps I use to watch TV shows. All right, so I didn't get all of it done. It's a lot of work to like change all the app icons, but I did get it like started tonight. And yeah, I'm really tired. It's like 2.30 in the morning right now. And I think I'm just gonna call it a night because I'm just so tired tonight. But I will finish setting up my iPad and the aesthetic this weekend. I'm also doing my December plan with me this weekend as well. So yeah, if you want to see those videos, be sure to hit subscribe. I'm uploading every day for Vlogmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.